Okay, we're going to do a tutorial today in Photoshop, and it's from Lessa Snyder. It says adjust the space between letters, and adjusting the space between individual letters makes text more readable. Changing the space uniformly between all letters is a useful design trick. So we're going to look how to change the spaces in between the letters, which is actually very helpful. So let's go back into the home page here of Photoshop, browse the tutorials, and I'm going to all categories. I'm going to beginner, and it's in add text, and it is adjust the space between letters, start tutorial. And I'm going to bring this over here. I always like to adjust all the things you know, to make everything smaller or more concise here. In fact, I'm going to bring this maybe a little bit to even smaller here. You can see better. So select the layer named Live Life at Full. So this layer, I'm going to click on it, Live Life at Full. And in the top line, some letters are too close together, like the I and V in live. So see these two letters right here? They are too close. While others are too far apart, like the V and E in the same word. So these two letters are too far apart. Adjusting the kerning will affix this. Click next to continue. So there, click Next. And right here, we're going to select the Horizontal Type tool. If this tool is already selected, click another tool and then back. So if you right-click, you're going to see two different ones. Horizontal, which you see the dot, that's how we know that's selected. And also Vertical, we want the Horizontal. And it says Window Character to open the Character Panel. So we need to go up here to Window come down here to character and select that window character and now we will see this i'm just gonna move this right here so we can I wonder if this comes down small or no we're just gonna you know let's move this right here like this there so right here, it wants us to locate the kerning setting under the type size, but don't change it yet. After placing the cursor between the two letters, you'll increase this value to add space and decrease it to subtract. Click Next to continue. So we're going to be selecting that right in there. So let's click Next. That's what we're going to be doing. So right now, click between the I and the V. So I already have it on this horizontal type, and we're going to click right between here. Adjust kerning and repeat where needed. So there we see a little gray line flashing in between the I and the V, and this line underneath all of the text. So we know that we're in the right spot, and I already had selected this. It says, alternatively hold Alt or Option in top, and tap the left or right arrow keys to adjust space. Then click the check mark in the options bar. Click next to continue. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can adjust it right here. This is the kerning right here. And you can go to zero or just change it to whatever you want. So uh, depending on what you have, you can go alter option on your keyboard. Since I have a Mac keyboard, I'm going to change it to. I'm going to hold down Option, and I can move it back and forth. And you can even see that number changing in the Characters panel. So I'm going to change this. And I'm looking at what it looks like. You know, that looks good right in there. I can change it more or less. But that looks good at zero. And right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click right here. And then I also notice the F and the U for full 
And right here, the U and the L looks like that needs, oh, I messed that up. This, if you mess up, just go Command Z, which is not working now. Oh no. I went too far back, so let me see if it's in here. Oh, it's just not keeping it. So, live life at full. So I just typed it back out again, which is pretty easy. So now looking at these letters, I can go back here to this, and I think it's right in here. Character, yeah. So now that looks correct. Live life at full, but you're supposed to just adjust it. Somehow I deleted it, so that's not good. So now we're going to click next to continue. I have to first, oh, I forgot to click the little check mark. So make sure you click the little check mark and then you can go to the next thing. If you don't click that check mark, it's going to get all messed up in your instructions. But you don't need the instructions to if, as long as you have the file. Now we're going to select throttle right here. And it says locate the tracking. So this is tracking. That was kerning. This is tracking. But don't change it yet. So once you highlight a word, you'll increase this value to add space or decrease it to subtract, subtract space evenly between all highlighted letters. Click next to continue. So this is what we're going to be working on, this, this wording right here. And we're going to make it, I think, longer. So let's go next. And then we're going to double click the word throttle to highlight it. So double click it with that, with that uh, horizontal text tool. Double click it. And now it's highlighted. Then enter a tracking of, this is like 420, press enter to return, then click the check mark in the options bar to apply the changes to the text. Okay, let's just change that. Uh, it's 200, 400. There you go. 400 does look good. So that's that. That spreads it out a lot more. We'll go next. And there you go. That's it. So for this tutorial, we're going to file. We're gonna, if you're my student and you need to save it as a JPEG, once looking at it, if it looks good, you're going to go file, save a copy, save on your computer, and you can change it to adjust. Uh, what? Letters, space. And I'm going to put my name there. That way, the file is easily. And then right here, so we know who it's coming from. And I also know what that, what that, the uh, the assignment is for, the photos for. And from here, I'm going to change it to Photoshop to a JPEG. I'm going to make sure I'm going to take it to to downloads, so I know where it is saving to. Otherwise, I won't be able to find it. And I might have to do the, the assignment all over again. So hit save. And then, OK, you can upload that one. And also, uh, if you're doing another photo for this assignment, because a lot of times I have two photos, you can basically do a photo with different texts. OK, so one with one color, one with another color. And maybe make that bottom one somewhere in the photo all caps with a different color. and that will complete that this assignment then okay so great job you guys good work